Okay, in this lecture we are going to find the volume of a region by revolving it about the x-axis. So we're going to start with the region y equals to x cubed, x equals to zero, y equals to eight, uh, about the x-axis. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to draw the region. It looks like this. This is the la function x cubed, and then the line y equals 8, and then x equals to 0, so the region is that. We're going to revolve this about the x-axis, so I'm going to put a little loop right here. And a copy of this will look something like that. Okay, because we're going to use cylindrical shells, we're going to put a, cylind a cylinder that is parallel to the axis of rotation, which is in this case the x-axis. The cylinder will look like this, this is the inner wall of the cylinder, and this is the outer wall of the cylinder. Okay, so when you find the volume of a region about the x-axis uh, using cylindrical shells, the formula for the volume is the integral from c to d times uh, 2 pi times the radius of the shell so I'm just gonna put shell radius times the height of the shell so I'm gonna put shell height all of this with respect to the with respect to y all right, we're going to find out what is the radius of the shell. So I'm just going to put shell radius. And that's just going to be equals to the distance that I moved from here to here. So y units. To find the shell height. The function has to be a, a function of y. So over here I'm going to say y equals x cubed means that x equals to the cube root of y. And that is the height of the shell. So the cube root of y is the same as y raised to the one third. Okay, so after you have the shell radius and the shell height, I'm going to write an equal sign. Over here, I'm just going to write a little square here. That's sort of like my scratch work. Now, we need to find out what is this point right here, which is the point zero zero, And then we need to find out what this point right here. This is the point two eight because when y is equals to 8, we can solve for x because uh, x cubed equals to 8 means that x is equals to the cube root of 8, which is 2. And so that's what the x value is equal to 2. But in this case, we want to find the volume, and the volume goes from as, uh, c to d, which are the y values, so from 0 to 8. The radius of the shell is y, and the height of the shell is y to the one third power. And then we have 2 pi, we almost forgot the 2 pi. And then integrate this with respect to y. 
Taking the 2 pi out and integrating from 0 to 8 y to the 4 thirds, because that's what, um, when you multiply y times y to the 1 third power, you get y to the 4 thirds. Uh, you get 2 pi times y to the 7 thirds times 3 over 7, and then you just put the uh, 8 for y everywhere you see y and you get final answer to be something like um seven sixty eight pi divided by 7 okay now suppose that we still have y equals x cubed x equals 0 y equals 8 but now we're gonna rotate about the line y equals to 1 actually y equals to negative 1 uh, again we have the region that looks like this it will look like this it looks like this I'm gonna go a little bit more here because we're rotating about the line y equals to minus 1. This is the line y equals to minus 1. A, a region or a copy of that region will look something like that. And a cylinder that is uh, parallel to the axis of rotation, which is y equals to minus 1, will look something like this. This is the inner wall of the cylinder, and this is the outer wall. My picture is not so good, but here gets the idea. Okay, what is the radius of the shell this time? Because we went up y units from 0 and then we're rotating about y equals to minus 1 the radius of the shell is y plus 1 so the radius of shell is equals to y minus a minus 1 which is y plus 1 in other words it is the edge of the can because this cylinder is sort of like a can uh, minus the axis of rotation, so y minus or minus 1, so it's y plus 1, that's the radius of the shell. And the uh, height of the shell is still y raised to the one third power. Okay, so the volume, because we're going from the point 0, 0 again, so 0, 0 to the point a to 8 uh, the volume is the integral from 0 to 8 because it's from C to D the y values uh, 2 pi times the radius of the shell which is y plus 1 times the height of the shell which is y raised to the one third power and then we're going to integrate that with respect to y taking the 2 pi out integrating from 0 to 8 and multiplying out we get y to the four thirds plus y to the one third and then we're going to integrate that with respect to y and that gives two pi and then uh, y to the seven thirds times three over seven plus y to the four thirds times three over fours uh, as y goes from zero to eight Plug in the 8 everywhere you see y, and you will get 936 pi divided by 7.
Okay, finally, we're going to take the same region, y equals to x cubed, x equals to 0, y equals to 8, but this time we're going to rotate or revolve about the line y equals 8. So here we have the region, it will look something like this, this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis, and the region again looks something like this, this is the original region, and this remember this is 8 right here, because this is a point 2, 8, and this is a point uh, 0, 0. So revolving about the line uh, y equals 8 will give us something that looks like that. A cylinder um, that is perpendicular to, I mean parallel to y equals to 8 would look something like this. So again this is the inner radio, I mean inner wall and this is the outer wall so it looks something like that. So it's a can, it's sort of like a can that it's sideways rather than uh, upside down. Anyway, the radius of the shell this time. Uh, we moved the distance of y units, but the, the distance from 0 to the axis of rotation, which is 8, is 8. So therefore, the radius of the shell is 8 minus y. So radius of the shell. is 8 minus y. And the height of shell is still y raised to the one third power. Okay, so y, 8 minus y, is because this time it is the axis of rotation minus the edge of the can. It is that, that's the radius. All right, so the volume is still the integral from 0 to 8, 2 pi, the radius, which is 8 minus y, and then the height, which is y to the one-third power, integrate out of that with respect to y. Taking the 2 pi out, integrating from 0 to 8, multiplying out, we get 8 y to the one-third power minus y to the four-thirds dy and that will give us 2 pi and then integrating so we get 8 y to the 4 thirds times 3 over 4 minus y to the 7 thirds times 3 over 7 as y goes from 0 to 8 plug in the 8 everywhere you see y and you eventually get 576 over 7 pi. That is the volume of that region using cylindrical shells. Okay, next time we will talk about arc length. Thank you.